الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله from the benefits of Ramadan قال إمام بن باز رحمه الله تعالى لما كان رمضان بتلك منزل عظيمة كان لطاعة فيه فضل فضل عظيم ومضاعف كثيرة وكان إثم المعاصي فيه الشد وأكبر من إثمها في غيره فالمسلم عليه أن يغتنم هذا الشهر المبارك بطاع بطاعات وأعمال الصالحة الصالحات وإخلاء عن سيئات عسى الله عز وجل أن يمن عليه عليه أن يمن عليه بقبول ويوفقه لاستقامة على الحق ولكن السيئات دائما بمثلها لا تضاعف في عدد لا في رمضان ولا في غيره أما الحسنة فإن فإنها تضاعف بعشر أمثالها إلى أضاعف كثيرة إمام بن باز رحمه الله تعالى said in his مجموعة فتاوى he said and due to the great status of Ramadan then obedience during it is greatly rewarded and it the reward is multiplied by uh, multiplied extensively and he said and during this time sinfulness the sin, the sinfulness of a sinner then it is counted even more against him or her and this is in accordance with other times, meaning that it is greater now in the month of Ramadan than it is when you do a sin, than it is during the regular times, uh, other times when you do sins. And then he said, so the Muslim, it is upon him to take the opportunity during this blessed month to do many acts of obedience uh, or worship and righteous deeds and remove him, remove himself, or his self, or, her, or herself from sinfulness. And hopefully, in hopes that Allah, the Almighty, will bless him by accepting it and blessing this person to be uh, firm and unstraightness with regards to the truth. He said, however, sinfulness always uh, is the same as far as the multiplication due to a sinfulness. It doesn't uh, increase the... It is not multiplied during Ramadan, nor other than Ramadan. But as for righteous deeds, then it is multiplied ten times the reward to even more multiple, uh, being multiplied even more, even greater. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, A Tawheed who was Sir al-Qur'an wa al man. And he said, Al-Matloob فهم المعاني القرآن وعمل به فإن لم تكون هذه همة الحافظة لم يكون من أهل العلم والدين. إمام شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية said that توحيد it is the essence or the secret of the Quran and it is the origin or the uh, the origin of Iman and he also said that what is meant 
meaning what is meant by reading the Qur'an, is to understand the meaning of the Qur'an when you're re reciting it and practicing it. For verily, if that is not the intent or not important to the one who memorizes it, then he is not a person of knowledge and deen, meaning he is not from Ahla Deen wa Ahla wa Ahla Ilm, that he's not a person of knowledge and he's not a person of uh, great iltizam or great um, uh, great righteousness in the deen. That they're because that because al ilm qabla al kulli wa al that you have to have knowledge preceding actions and deeds or before statements and deeds. So in order to make your deeds straight, you need correct Islamic knowledge. In order to gain the maximum benefit from the acts of worship that you do, you need knowledge of it. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.